So we got a new addition to the PC setup. It's this flower pot. I got it for English class. It's a metaphor for growth. And if you like look closely, there we go. There's one growing right there. This doesn't usually sit here. It usually sits on the windowsill so it gets sunlight. But uh, when I record, I'll bring it over here. Anyways, Instagram Reels is an interesting place to go in. It's like going through a lobotomy, for me at least, depending on what kind of content you like. But for the past couple of weeks, I've stumbled upon this one guy multiple times. And it's this dude screaming and having seizures on public transportation and in just public places in general. I'm back with an outfit change mid video. And it's not just him doing the worm in public transport. He goes to public places or restaurants and it just starts screaming out of nowhere. Like he's having a panic attack. Sometimes you'll make videos of him like putting his legs in your shirt. You know the thing that you do in like elementary school? Yeah, he's doing that like in his like late 20s or 30s. After seeing a couple of videos of this, I thought these were from different like meme pages, but no, it's from the same guy. So I ended up checking out his account. And uh, man, is he prolific. He goes by Steve Lank, but his real name being Vincent Lan. He's French. But for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to stick with Steve. So like I was talking about how prolific he is, I was astonished on how many reels he uploads. This is his Instagram page, 200,000 followers. He is prolific. I mean, look at this, right? Seven hours ago. Okay, that might seem like it was a while ago. He's in France right now. and I think he might be asleep. But look at this, right? Seven hours ago, 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 18 hours ago. When I checked this a day ago, he uploaded like every single hour. Like this is 21 hours, 22, 23, 23 again, one day ago. Now this is all in a single day. Look at this dude. He is prolific. He produces content faster than AI YouTubers. He uploads a lot. He uploads more videos in a day than I do in an entire month. I'm like half joking about that too. He uploads usually about like a reel an hour. So his content mainly consists of screaming in public places and acting like he's on a perk. This usually ends up with people laughing at him, someone dragging him away, or people cheering for him, which is interesting. I, didn't, I saw a video of him like screaming and then him lifting like a like a like some kind of drink up as a cheer and then placing it back down and everyone like was dead quiet for like two seconds and then they all started cheering for him. He was putting his fist together like he was charging an ultimate. And then he let out that insane war cry. Here's another video of him letting out a war cry. Here's a video of him crawling on the floor like a dog. How do people agree to this kind of stuff? I mean, he's got a whole group with him. I don't know if like people go up to him and ask him if they could be in a video of his or if he goes up to them and asks if they want to be in the video. Here's another video of him slithering on the floor like a serpent. In this video, you can see him spit on the floor and just completely ignore it while he slides over it. That is so disgusting, bro. I mean, wiggling on the floor like you're having a seizure isn't a good look either. And then he gets up into a werewolf stance. So his content mainly includes him squirming through a public area, him putting his legs in a shirt and walking around in a public area, him crawling on the ground like a dog in a public area, or him screaming in a public area. So his content is just him being a nuisance in public places. Content that he doesn't make all that often is uh, him when he's actually being normal. 
So sometimes he'll make a video of himself talking normally or uh, sometimes videos of him with a black eye filter to make people feel bad for him. In these videos where he seems more laid back and chill, he usually talks about how pe how other people are jealous of him, of his success and charisma, which is an interesting statement. I also don't know how to speak French, so if anyone uh, does know, please let me know what he's saying in the video or in any of the videos. Even on his Instagram bio, he talks about how charismatic he is and how he's humorous, which uh, I, I just have to agree. Scrolling through Instagram and being jump scared by him tweaking out is, is actually pretty funny, as well as him being charismatic. If you see his videos, sometimes in, he's in a group setting and everyone's like participating and crawling on the floor or doing the worm with him. And the comments on his Instagram posts aren't much better than the content that he makes. I mean, his posts are usually filled with people pasting the bunny dude from Arthur with his grippers out. That could be used for chemical warfare. It's either that gif of the bunny or people telling him to stop acting the way he's he does and uh, to act appropriately. But uh, he also has a couple other social medias that I dug into. That being his Facebook threads, which is a barren wasteland, TikTok, and Snapchat. His thread doesn't have that much activity, just repost of his older content. His TikTok doesn't have any post either. However, that was one of his TikTok accounts. His other TikTok account has all of his content, plus he's pretty big on the platform. He has over a million followers. Now I'm not gonna dive into like any videos on his TikTok because they're all the same from Instagram, but looking at the comments on his TikTok account and his videos, the TikTok comments show a whole different culture than Instagram comments. They mainly make jokes about the content and sometimes they say that they love him, which is the polar opposite of what you get on Instagram, where people are just making fun of him and telling him to stop and sending the gif of that bunny. And for his Facebook, it's mainly videos of him geeking out or selfies of him. He's definitely one of the more stranger accounts I've seen on Instagram, although it doesn't come close to Smart School Boy 9. But the thing is, his content is all about being a public nuisance, which it is funny sometimes, but at the same time, you're like, it's kind of annoying to other people that are there. Moral of the story, don't be a public disturbance. That's pretty much all I have for the video. That's about it. Peace.